Guy, how far? I'm fine, and you? Fine, where did you get this phone you are holding? My brother, is my own, I saved some money for it. Okay, bye bye then. Bye, see you next time. You think you can deceive me, I know he stole that phone, he is very poor, so where did he get money, let alone saving? Where did I lost my phone I can't find it? What is that boy looking for? Hey, what are you looking for? Please, I'm looking for my phone. Did you see any phone on the ground by chance? You mean, you are looking for your phone? Yes, I don't know, when I lost it. I know it, I said it. I know that boy is a criminal, I know he stole that phone. Which boy? Don't worry, I know who stole your phone, just go and call police, I will give you, his address. Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. Thank you, and God bless you. You are welcome, just go and call police. No problem. Very good, let them teach him a lesson, so that next time, he will know that stealing is not good. Officer, please come, you need to follow me right now, someone stole my phone and I want you to arrest him now, before he sell it. Okay, let's go. Officer here is the place. Yes, I'm coming. Where is the phone you stole, criminal? Me, stole a phone, why? Shut up, are you asking me question, who owns the phone you are holding? Officer, I can take you to the place I bought it, so that you will confirm, that I did not stole it, I bought it with my sweat, I mighty be poor, but I'm not a thief. I was brought up, to be content of what I have, and happy. Come, and see if what he is holding is your phone. Check it, is this your phone? No it's not my phone. So why did you make me Harris, an innocent person? Officer, I'm sorry, it wasn't my fault, it was somebody that told me, he saw my phone in his hand. So why didn't you confirm it, before coming to inform the police? I'm sorry sir. Shut up you are under arrest for false accusation. But sir, is not my fault. <laughs> Whose fault is it? Somebody told you something, you did not see with your eyes, and you start working on it. By the time I'm through with you today, next time, you will confirm before you act. Nonsense. Sir please I'm sorry. I will not leave you until you bring the person that told you this. I did not know the person, I made him on the road. And yet, you agree on the nonsense he told you, without seeing with your eyes. <laughs> oh yeah, move it. Sir please forgive him, I have forgiven him already. Please, allow me to teach him a lesson so that next time, he will know how to behave. Sir please, let him go, he had already learned his lesson. Just because of you. Thank you sir. Thank you sir. Get out before I change my mind. Nonsense. Why? Do people talk what they don't know, as if they know it? They talk about something they didn't see with their eyes, as if they see it, in fact they can narrate a matter more than the victim. But remember, is not for the children of God, false accusation or witness is a sin, is not for children of God. Stay away from it, do not get involved, God hate it, say what you see with your own eyes, say what you are sure of, Thank you for watching. And please, subscribe, like, share, and turn on the notification bell. God bless you. And remember, false accusation is a sin against God.